Sellafield has always had a very strong technical focus. Um, in the 60s and 70s, we had people working on uh, nuclear technologies for new reactors, new fuel designs, uh, and reprocessing that essentially um, it, was, it was Nobel Prize kind of stuff. Um, and much of it would have been worthy of Nobel Prizes had it been possible to write it down in that way. But clearly the origins of some of the technologies and some of the processes um, uh, were all shrouded with the Official Secrets Act. As we moved into Thorpe and a more commercial approach to things, um, again we were still at the leading edge of many technologies. So as an example, um, power fluidics, ways of uh, controlling and moving radioactive materials in liquid form through the plant without any moving parts. This was the place to be for technical innovation, both in terms of chemical engineering, uh, the scale of mechanical engineering would have delighted Brunel uh, in terms of the, uh, the uh, size of machinery and the equipment, the shear machine um, and, and so on. The control system um, that's still running in Thorpe now was utterly state of the art at that time distributed control system. We still have probably one of the most advanced, if not still the most advanced, nuclear materials accountancy um, and uh, tracking system on any radioactive facility anywhere in the world. 